Hello, this is Greg Allison from Green Greg's Garden and Worm Farm. And this is P Grow Day 3. Yes, the third grow day here. So this is uh, P Grow Day 3. And what do I see? Oh, how lovely. Sprouting little pea. Yes, they're coming up pretty good now. Most of the little sprouts are starting to get a little, uh, a little texture on them. I don't know if you can see in here. There's a little, tiny little uh, leaflet starting to form on the very end of the, the sprouts. They're starting to take a little structure. I mean, just they're just budding. But if you look, there's a lot of definition in there. So it's kind of interesting. This is the third grow day. You can see what these peas look like. And I'm going to do the, they're looking really good. Guess what? I got another little batch right under here. And they look the same. Very good. Uh, last grow I had, I actually had one batch look good and one not so good for some reason. I hadn't had that before. But uh, here we are, two trays. I did actually have some sunflowers shoots sitting on top of those, so these have all been weighted down. But I noticed that I could see them pushing the tray up. They're actually pushing the weight up, believe it or not. That's how strong these little peas are. So what I'm going to do is give them a little water. 20 seconds. 2, 1,003, 1,004, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now let's check. There's enough water of the day, but they're starting to grow a little bit. Is there enough water again? Yes. I tilted it and the water came to my knuckle right about there. And that's where I want to see it. These already have some water, but see what happens is as they start to grow. They're actually consuming this water. 1, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very hounds from uh, C Definitely, that's the right amount of water again. I don't know. You probably can't exactly see the water line on my finger here, but it's right up to the knuckle. Because that's the real shine and paint job. I can't tend to think of a, a Tom Sawyer in the Adventures of Huckleberry Finn and the whitewashing they were doing. So we get some of those, a few little pee hole pieces. I'm going to try to extract if I can do so without hurting those little shoots be very gingerly when you reach in there. But these are things that might go sour down the road. You don't really have to do this, not for the first few days, but I think it's better when you do. So I've got a few little pee holes out right there. That will extract it. Put those are the compost. Anyway, so these peas are very healthy so far, looking really good. That's usually what we get out of peas. These things will grow amazingly fast. So, here's what you do. You come in here, and uh, to get updates for all my other videos that I'm going to have for these peas growing, and the two videos previous to this, actually I had three because I did a day zero, which I think I called day one. I forget to count with zeros. Um, and to get the other videos I'm going to have, uh, click subscribe and bang the bell for the update notifications and you'll get updates and uh, that will be greatly appreciated and will help my channel so thank you again and uh, stay tuned for Grow Day 4